My name is Dan Kress. I'm a student here at MIT in the Leaders for Global Operations program. I'll be graduating in 2015. My background, before I came to MIT, I got my degree in chemical engineering, my bachelor's uh, from the University of Washington in Seattle. After that, I went to work for W.L. Gore in Arizona making medical products. And there I was a, a process engineer and I uh, focused mostly on problem solving and a lot of engineering aspects of medical device construction. From there, I broadened my interests a little bit and I broadened my experience by going to Owens Corning, making building materials, and I worked as an operations leader for a few years and really got in depth into a lot of plant operations and uh, frontline worker leadership and management. And then I wanted to kind of get more in depth on both those skills, and that's why I came to MIT, and I'm currently working on getting my MBA and my uh, master's degree in chemical engineering. My internship right now, my six-month internship, is at Pfizer in Andover here in Massachusetts, and I'm working in the R&D division inside the a pilot facility where we make a lot of the materials that will go into a lot of the initial clinical studies and into some scale-up material where you're trying to scale up the process from a benchtop into what will eventually be the commercial facility. So a lot of the current paradigm in manufacturing and a lot of this pharmaceutical manufacturing is to use large stainless steel reactors. And these large stainless steel reactors have to have a lot of infrastructure around them and take a lot of upkeep. So every time you change from one product to the other, you have to clean it out and then you have to test it to make sure it is cleaned out. So one benefit and what I'm looking at as part of my project is switching to a lot more disposable or single-use technologies. And these single-use technologies you now don't have to clean out because when you're done with one product, you pull out the plastic bag, you put in another one, and you know that it's a brand new plastic bag and doesn't have to be cleaned versus the old one, the old paradigm, you have to make sure it's, it's clean. So what I'm looking at is to, to try and design a facility that uses only disposable equipment and you can, by doing that, you can then get down to much smaller equipment sizes, much smaller labor staffing, and you can realize a lot of benefits that can give you some flexibility that a large capitally intensive facility doesn't give you. And by doing that, you can hopefully help uh, change, uh, get quicker turnaround on a lot of the products. And one thing that's good about these types of internships is that you can really dig deep into the technical aspects of the projects, but then you can also bring it up to a high level and look at the business side and look at the business case of the projects and deliver your pitch to senior leadership that's then gonna make a decision on whether or not to go forward with a new facility. One class I took last summer from Tawhid Zaman was the operations class that really taught us about how you match capacity to demand, especially when demand is changing over time. And so we learned how to match how many production lines you have to what the demand is, even if you don't know what that demand is and it changes over time. And that's really a new thing for a lot of the pharmaceutical industries that haven't had to demonstrate operational efficiencies on the same level that some other industries have. So it was really helpful to be able to take that learning directly from the classroom and apply it on my internship.